So the new machine is a Dell Inspiron like 7500. It's got an AMD 8 core processor, 3 plus gigahertz, uh, 1 terabyte hard drive, 16 gig of RAM, upgradable, a 5 or 8 gig video card, uh, AMD Radeon Rays, something or another graphics. It's just phenomenal. Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for a new season of Life is Feudal Forest Village. All right, so what's new? Why are we starting over A-Train? I'll tell you why, because we're on the new Super Herky machine. So we've got all kinds of good graphical greatness going on. And so I want you guys to be able to enjoy this from the get-go. All right, so let's find us a new home, shall we? Uh, let's see, here's a... Thorpness. Thorpness. That's an odd name. Let's change that. I don't like that. Ken Cardine. No. Suman. No. Pella's Wish. Oh, I've missed this. Asgard is dead. And it'll be reborn in my image. I thought you'd be glad to see me. That's kind of interesting. Wolford. Ruther Glen. Holmfirth. Crawlfield, Dalry, Harmstead. I like Harmstead. Harmstead sounds good. I can pronounce it easily, too. I don't have to foof around with it. Uh, let's see. Do we like this? Let's go to a uh, normal map size. That's going to change it up, of course. Uh, we're going to go with the Relief Plains. Oh, you know what? Screw <laughs> you, hippie! Turn off disasters. That's a pretty good size island. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a... Uh, peninsula we'd be landing on here. Looks like some open space to work with before we get into the uh, rising terrain. So you know what? Let's give this a whirl. Let's fire it up. All crops and plants die in winter. Before this happens, you will see a warning over the field. When this happens, you must harvest the ripe crops immediately. Guys, can you see what I see? Can you see how pretty the picture is? It's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, let's stop. Immediately pause. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's so exciting. It really is, guys. It really is. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Okay. So, typical... St oh, look. We still got the uh, the Santa hats going on with the people, too. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, okay. So, here is our new home in Harmstead. We have 10 people, six adults, two teenagers, and two chitlins. All right. Now, here's the thing. From the get-go, though, you start with three shacks, and they can only ho house three people. So, three times three is nine, and we have ten people, which means the first thing we got to do is immediately build a shack. So, uh, I mean, we could try to upgrade one of these and see what happens, or we could build a house and try to push uh, development and growth of the uh, community along a little quicker. Let's push that down there. Let's go into our little uh, stuffs here. Doink, pull that up. Let's move this up here. So it's nice and... Oh, and on my nice big screen here. Oh, I got a... Uh, so the new machine is a Dell Inspiron, like 7500. It's got an AMD... 8 core processor, 3 plus gigahertz, uh, 1 terabyte hard drive, 16 gig of RAM, upgradable, a 5 or 8 gig video card, uh, AMD Radeon Rays, something or another graphics. It's just phenomenal. And I'm just happy as it can be. And I got a 27 inch Samsung curved uh, monitor, uh, HD. So it's cool and neat in a neat and cool sort of way. Getting to see all the beautiful textures and colors and all right, I'm wasting your time. Sorry about that, gang. Okay, so let's see. Um, so I'm zoomed out here. 
I just kind of want to get a feel. Where are we going to start encountering the terrain? Uh, that looks like the camera started to go kind of uphill right about there. Otherwise, it looks fairly flat in here. Am I missing something? Why I'm... Whoa, there we go. <laughs> that's, that's one way to do it. Let's just zoom down the ground level and take a walk through the woods. It actually looks pretty flat. Okay, so that's at the village edge. And, yeah. I think we might have picked a good spot here. Cool. Alright, let me get zoomed back out and move back over to the village so we can see what's going on. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is build a house. So, ammo read. I may realty. What? we've got here is failure to communicate so she doesn't die it's only four she got stuck with the short straw all right <clears throat> so for expediency sake here's what we're going to do we are going to build a shack all right and we're going to put it right here next to the other ones uh let's rotate it uh and put it right next to the other ones and let's move it up a little bit, up this way there. Now we've got it taking up the same amount of space, basically, as the others. Nope, 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 that's too far. There we go. Can we twitch it over this way just a little? Nope, that's it. That's as tight as we can get that. All right, very good. All right, clunk. All right, so let's, uh, we'll get one person on building. Everybody else has got to get busy doing stuff but the before we even boy before we even get to that I want to make sure they're all focused on building this house so let's get this house built first thing we're going to do I want everybody hauling materials over there so Amerild Amerild will have a home okay now all the materials are there and we're in building process okay very good so now we want to start gathering everything we can. We're going to come down here to collect all resources. And we're going to clean the joint out. Whoops. Nope. I need to select all of them first. And we're going to clean all this schmutz out. All the way back to there. Yeah, that's that's a good amount of stuff to start with. So get busy, people. Let's punch it. And then, um, you know what? You... Yeah, you know something? I'm going to take you over. Check this out. Open inventory. Let's hit three. And, oh, hey, oh, hey. Press the string. Blop. Toast. Good shooting. All right, man, this thing moves really quick. So I may have to make a, may have to make a couple of adjustments here. All right, see all the yellow tags on stuff? That's things that are designated to be collected. All right, so let's... Uh, Use Amory here. I think if I press, is it space? No, it's shift. Yeah, there we go. She'll run now. All right, let's evaluate. Wait a minute. What did I just see? Oh, that's someone carrying stuff in. Okay. Let's take a little bit of a pattern approach here. Okay, and move out this way. Aha! Hark! There is moose. Three. String it. Draw die draw there's a hog there draw die food pig draw die okay let's see what else we got here anything else anything else aha another toot your horn now we cannot we cannot string the bow until the effect of the tooting the horn wears off. Ah, oh, see that bear is looking at us kind of cross. All right, so watch that that little blue bar at the bottom of the screen is what's telling us when we can string the bow again. But I want to make sure we get this stag over here. All right, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is gonna be a long shot. I three wang. Got it. What a shot. Can we get this one too? Well, that's a long way off. Through the tree. 
Oh, we got it! Oh, <laughs> what a shot! Great kid! Don't get cocky! This bear should be a little easier. Boy, it takes a little bit for it to process this graphics up quick. Alright, you know what? That's a lot of Willy Foo Foo stuff done now. That's a bunch of food to collect. So let me, uh, where did I kill that stag? Is it over here? Looking for baskets of food here. Where the hell is the food? Oh man, I should have focused more on the direction I was shooting. Okay, well, oh wait, here's more. So this will work. Right there, toast. All right, so let's run up here and there's a bucket of food and we will uh, cancel. Take the resource, toot your horn, thank you much, and you're off to do your thing. All right, so hopefully we'll get people moving around and doing their thing here. So we're in spring of year one. Let's find out where the hell the village is. Uh, there it is, over here. All right, very good. We've got our house built, which means this person is no longer needed in that occupation. Uh, we're at five times speed for some reason. I guess I may have put it there. All right. Um... So, we're off and running. What? Huh. Did these trees regrow that quickly? I don't know. Hmm. I, I don't see the collect resources tags on everything like we had. Did I miss a memo? What the hell did I just miss? Haven has grown up and is ready to study. This is good. All right, let me check this here. Let's go back to collect resources, close, select everything. Okay, now, see, there's just a couple of things that are showing up now that weren't before. Oh, let's see what this tree would be worth. Oh, well, hell, there's a whole bunch of stuff right there. All right, let's add that to the list of stuff to collect. Very good, thank you. Um, all right, so, uh, the next thing we're going to want to put in place, actually, and this, is may, this may be premature, but I, I like the organization of it. We're going to line up some roads here. Okay. So that's the edge of the the, um, the shacks there, right? So this, this square is open, and this square is open, but boink, it runs into the uh, well. We will eventually move the well. But for now, we're going to run this road straight, straight, all right, straight the hell out to about there, all right? So I want to get these roads marked and in place. So that runs across the front of the... Uh, the uh, barn, which is where our foodstuffs and stocks and stuff are kept. Okay, right there is the end of the road. All right, there we go. So that will be our first primary road uh, built. We'll go ahead and take care of this end of it too. All right, get building people and collect stuff. Do the, two things at once. What do we got here? We got pavement. Pavement stairs remove pavement as opposed to roads which has paved road and removed road and then you got all the bridge stuff uh, and then there's all the castle structures and all that that schmutz all right so we're in spring and everybody's doing the the build the road thing build the road thing build the road thing hooray uh so we got shacks which uh put us in a position to add a couple of people to the village which would be good uh now so we built the road out here. All right, let's go ahead and drop out of warp speed here for a minute because there's a couple things we want to build. And I, we don't want to get them terribly close, but we don't want them to be terribly far. We're going to go down here to food production. We're going to set up a hunting cabin. And that covers a lot of the peninsula. So if anything comes wandering into our area here, we'll be able to take it out. So that's good. All right, so let's... Um, yeah, that's kind of the area I'm looking at, right there, because that covers the entire village, right? We're going to rotate it around so it's facing the road, and we're going to move it in to tighten it up as much as possible, like that. And, uh, presto! Alright, so now we need a couple of builders on that job, we'll get them going, and then the other thing is going to be a gatherer's hut, and we're going to put that right next to the, uh, to the, um, hunter's uh, cabin. Alright, so we'll put this right here. 
real nice and small and tight. We're going to rotate it so the door faces the road so it's most efficient for movement. There, we don't want it there. We want it there. That's nice and small. And boom. Cool. All right. So those are a couple things that are going to be real important to hunting especially. That's a more of a long-term thing, but the gatherer's hut will be important here initially uh, in getting our food stocks up uh, as we progress through this first year and move towards our first winter. Um, see, so we're going to be, our people are going to be uh, eating the fish and bread, but see, we brought in already 130 meat, which is good, uh, and the fruit numbers will go up quickly uh, once we staff up that, uh, that gatherer's hut, okay? So that will work out well. Now, uh, the other thing I want to look at here is really being efficient in our placement of um, of structures to to process uh, things, right? Okay, so uh, that's the edge of that. This is the ro so this is going to be the road down this side. Okay, so we're going to build that down that way. And then we're going to build across this way and across this way. And then we're going to double wide this road like that. Okay, now, and then the other thing we're going to do is go ahead and double wide it here by the well. And like I said, eventually we're going to move that well because it's not in a good space. It's, it's a place where people are going to trip over it. So we're going to move it to just right here. All right. Uh, Part of that is uh, the thought process here is uh, for our uh, lumberjacks lodge, where we make firewood from logs, and we have 216 logs in inventory. Uh, the logs get stored in the warehouse. Okay, so there's all our logs. That's where all your building materials are stored, and then everything else goes in the barn. Okay, so um, firewood goes in the barn. Thus. We have to take logs from here, take them to a lumberjack's lodge, and then take them into the barn. And then people will take them to their houses to use for heating and cooking. All right. Thus, uh, the logical thing for a lumberjack's lodge is going to be to put it right about here. So it's right next to its supply and its demand. And that's demand. All right. So that's what we're going to look to do. Uh, beyond that, we're going to look at uh, adding uh, probably later this year or going into next year a Forester's Lodge, which will help us control the uh, tree growth and forestry in this area. We'll put it a little bit further out. Boy, I do like how much open space it looks like flat space we have and a lot of resources. Look at all the stone. And, look, let's just highlight it. Look at all that ore and stone right there. That's a lot. So... We're going to set up to uh, collect that eventually. Man, there's a lot right here to achieve many Christmas. That's awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's keep rolling here. And uh, turn this off. No, I want to turn off. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's uh, how our construction is coming along here. People are hauling stuff over here. And it's getting me nighttime. There we go. We can watch our construction efforts here on our hunting cabin and on the um, gatherer's hut. They're still working on the roads, which right now may be a waste of my manpower. I get it. Uh, but uh, it's something I like to do for organization's sake. So we have everything kind of organized and nice and neat for the village. All right. Now this uh, hunting cabin, boom, is done. All right. So we're going to... Uh, Drop this down to two and put two people on the hunting cabin. And once the gatherer's hut is done, we're going to do the same thing with it. All right. So now we're going to start getting meat in. Um, and that will work well for us. All right. So the people are still banging on the roads. We're waiting on labor here. Zero of two laborers. That's dumb. They took the two laborers off the... Wow, that's weird. There we go. Okay, very good. It's done. That was weird. Huh. Okay. 
we're going to put two people on gathering. And so we could use the child labor to uh, finish building the roads. Um, I don't think we're going to set up a permanent... Let's see how quick an auto save. Well, see, it freed up pretty quick there. That was good. It's a lot faster than it used to be. Um, hmm. Because I, I really have come to like fish farms. But that permanently assigns somebody to it. So, I don't know. We may set one up over here. That may be a good spot for one. Let's see. Uh, what's our... Set up over here ish. That'd be a good spot right there. Yeah, that's too close to land. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of logs. We don't have it at present. So um, we're going to hold off on that. And we're going to work on um, gathering what we've got available to us. The fish farm is kind of a luxury, it's kind of like uh, having a field. And um, that's one of those things that uh, you kind of, oh, you know what, I'm going to wait uh, until, uh, it's like planting the fields. You don't necessarily have to do it. It's like hunting right now is probably the more efficient way. I mean, we could set up just a fishing dock, I suppose, and it's close to the barn here. Um, let's see how much that's going to cost us. Fisherman's Lodge. That's backwards. Do, 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 do. Cannot build in this area because there's stupid rock there. Oh, you know what? It's just I'm not close enough to the shore. I kind of like that. Just like that. Let's go ahead and build that. And uh, we're going to work it. We are going to work it and work it hard. All right. Let's see if anybody is preggers. Yep. Expecting a baby. That's good. And they're not expecting one. They're not. Of course, they're teenagers. Not even teenagers. Okay. So we are expecting uh, one new addition to the community, which will give us 11. Our maximum housing right now is indicated right here is 12 and then here you see how many uh, positions we've got for work that's eight uh, there's three here uh, in the gatherer's hut three in the hunter's cabin and then two here but now we've got uh, we're gonna put someone out on fishing so that will help things um, Let's see here. And we are just going to keep trucking along, along here with our uh, village of Harmstead. With 10 citizens. Natasha's grown up and ready to study. That's good. Welcome to uh, puberty there, Natasha, or wherever level, I guess. Of... All right, let's see here. One, two... Extend the dirt road to the Fisherman's Lodge. That'll work nicely. And once we get that knocked out, because I imagine we've still got our extra person still banging away on the roads. Yep, there's our person. Banging away on the roads. Now what are you doing? Natasha! Yeah, you! Um, let's slow things down. Well, it, no, that's not going to matter because these people are going to come over here. These people are banging away on each other's heads and stuff, so never mind. Natasha, go play or something. All right, so this road's about to be done. As soon as this person wraps that up, or these couple of people wrap that up, we are going to look to handle this... Uh, deal with the well okay so that's all good uh, let's jump into here 
and let's take the well out of commission. That's going to take one person. Ah, we have a teenager who's grown up and is in the workforce. This is cool. That gives us an extra person. Very good. All right, so let's take the well out. Somebody, demo the well. Demo the well, please. It's only going to take two units of labor. I've already I got someone assigned. Let's go. Get busy. Look at the little bells hanging here from the barn. That's cute. Okay, who is going to be our builder type? Now, of course, it's starting to rain. Hmm. Now why? <sighs> hmm. Okay, here we go, finally. All right, so let's get that knocked out. It's taking way too long. Almost done and done. Okay, very good. Now, so we're going to take this. We're going to finish this road piece right here, like that, and this piece right here, like that. And then we're going to come over here to public buildings, and we're going to build another well. And the well is going to go three by three. Squish it down. Boom. There we go. And we got someone already assigned the building. We'll go ten times speed and get this knocked out. Turn that off. And we're going to bring out our stuff. You know. Yeah, Natasha. Uh, yeah, no, she could be bringing stuff out, but yeah, that's okay. She could go chop down a tree or do all kinds of things. All right, now we got everything we need to stone. Boom, we're underway, and we'll have the new well built. And Prithu. All right, now the well is filling up with water. Very good. All right, we no longer need this person in the building profession. We will put them on. It's early fall. Let's see if we can wrap up some gathering. Oh, you know what? I think we have this set up currently in. Uh, let's see, options, advanced. Interface, temperatures in Celsius, yes. Let's go to Fahrenheit, because we Imperials may not understand that. All right, very good. Resume the game. Uh, so it's 71 degrees. Yeah, it's early fall, so it looks like we're having kind of an Indian summer, kind of a late summer, uh, which is good, because that's going to give us more time to gather more stuff. See, we've got a good amount of meat and vegetables and all this stuff going on here, so that's working well for us. So that, I think, folks, is going to be a good place for us to uh, wrap things up here for this first episode of Season 2 of Life is Feudal Forest Village, now available on Steam. Link in the description below. We appreciate you coming in and uh, spending part of your time with us here on the channel. Happy New Year to everyone, planet-wide, wherever you are. Check in. Let us know down in the uh, comments below, along with your questions, comments, and uh, constructive criticism hope you are liking the new imagery i really do uh, i'm I, I know i said for weeks and months i need a new pc blah 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 got a nice little christmas bonus and took care of it so hopefully you guys are enjoying the new and improved channel uh, like if you do share with your friends let them know about us we appreciate it and uh, subscribe for more great content coming soon in high def <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. All right, that's going to be all for this episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. We'll say goodbye to Harmstead, and we'll see you next time right here on the channel. Thanks for coming in, folks. I'm A-Train. It's over, and I'm out.